Guys, I 3D printed this giant T-Rex skull and it turned out awesome. I used my Anycubics Cobra S1. This printer has been amazing. Best printer I've had by far. I'm not exaggerating. This thing has a ton of features for a great price. Um, you have auto bed leveling. You have AI detection for stringing or any kind of issue while printing it'll stop the print completely and let you fix the issue and then continue printing and this is great for big long prints that if you make any any mistake on any previous printer that i've had you'd have to start over all over again and it would take even longer this already took like four or five hours to print so if you had a print like that and it stopped printing you'd have to restart that print I really like this print, by the way. There is zero support on it. It just prints right out. So if you guys are interested, I'll put it down in the description below. If you have a 3D printer and you want to try this out, because it turned out great. I wish I could make it even bigger. The bed is 250, 250 by 250. That's how big you can print. This is pretty much, I would say, the biggest print that you can make on this. You can print full-size helmets on it. But I did print out this Batman helmet right here. And it I had to print it in pieces because it's too big. And it still was not big enough for me to wear it. But it looks pretty cool on top of my PC rig. So this one turned out really well too. But I had to print it in pieces and glue it together. But it's cool how you can do that as well. Uh, I have a lot of prints that I've made with this 3D printer that I was not able to print on other printers that I've had due to the bed leveling because the bed leveling has to be perfect to adhere. And this one does that every time. It's multicolor, so it comes with four different slots to put uh, printing filament. I have them all four filled right here. And you can do multicolored printing but I mostly just use it in case I want to print this or that. I don't have to switch out the filament. I'm able to do a full print by just selecting the color that I want. It has a software. I use my laptop to um, print different things. It's Wi-Fi, so that means that on your phone, with the app, you're able to check on your prints with the camera that it has inside. It can also record prints. So you can record the prints and do like a time lapse of that print, which is really, really cool. Uh, but multicolored printing, I would say is not quite there yet. I think it needs another hothead on the printer to be able to switch out the filament quicker, which would really cut back time. Just to get an idea, I printed out this Mewtwo right here and it took nine hours to print because they had to keep constantly switching the colors for the Mewtwo to work. It st still turned out pretty good, but it's pretty small. So when I took the support off, it did take off a finger. And then you get a lot of what they call like filament trash, which is where the printer has to cut out the filament every time it switches. And this one had a ton of this. I'll show you guys how bad it was it was just absolutely everywhere just a lot of filament that i needed to switch out because there's so much multicolor switches to make and i also printed out this really cool shark that is uh retractable so it moves around it's printed like this it's pretty big i saw this at a store they were trying to sell like 3d stuff 3d printed stuff and they're trying to sell it for like 30 bucks this took about like three four hours to print and probably took like two dollars of filament to print if you print it on your own so this one turned out really good but it's not just uh 3d printed crap you also have a lot of things that are very useful i printed out a mount for my vr headset which is right there i'll show you guys i also printed out a little drawer on my desk to put all my SD cards in. I printed out some phone mounts. Uh, just a lot of useful things that you can print. You can find all the prints on Maker World. 
that you can use. And they're all free downloads or Thingiverse. This uh, T-Rex head that I printed out, I found on Maker World, I believe. I'll put a link on the description below because I really, really like this print. I also made a smaller one for my wife. She is a Jurassic World, big Jurassic World fan. So she really, really liked this and was very impressed by, by what you can make. I also printed out this little Twitch symbol. So that's pretty cool. So there's just a lot of things that you can print. It's pretty much to your, um, what you want to create. You can also design your own prints. There's even like an AI design print where you can type in what you want to be able to 3D print and it'll create the SDL file. But uh, I'm very impressed with a lot of the artists that actually design these and they make them available for printing for free on Maker World. This is another little thing. Actually, this is one of the test files that it came with. But really cool printer. Comes with a light too. Here's some of the 3D printers that don't even have a light inside. So for the price, you really can't go wrong with this printer. You get a full combo printer. You can use any filament. I know there's some printers out there that they're wanting to only use the filament that they sell, which is ridiculous. But this one, you can find any of the filament on Amazon. I'll put a link on the description of all the filament that I purchased on Amazon and what I have right now. And it's all printed really well. I used a lot of black. So a black is definitely a very popular print printing uh, material that I use. I made this little Batman cat helmet. And this turned out great. And my cat looks hilarious wearing it. So there's been a lot of really creative things that I've been able to do with this printer. And I could not recommend this printer enough. If you guys have any questions about this printer, comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.